Hi folks, I'm back from my fishing trip. I wanted to talk to you about a high yield filleting method that I typically use. So I really like the result of the high yield method when you do it on these big 16, 17 inchers because what I'm doing is capturing all of this belly meat. All of this would be discarded with this traditional way or the fast way of doing a fillet. You definitely want to start with a sharp knife. So you start a cut at the anus and go down the belly and come across behind the gills. First big caution, as you cut across here, you're going to feel the rib bone right here. There's a rib bone right there. Do not cut that bone. If you cut that bone, you've already made your first mistake. So you just glide over it. That's why it's so important to have a sharp knife. You can feel everything and it'll cut the flesh, but not, and you can keep from cutting the bone. So then cut down along the backbone. I cut to where I feel the backbone on my initial cut and then I slide over it at the bottom, at the tail, and then, and then work it down carefully. Come back with a cut to the belly. You have to make sure you open the skin up here. So now I want to take it deeper and try to do this with a smooth, single smooth cut. Now here's one of your first critical moves. There's a bone right here. Cannot cut through any bones. I'm going to, to work the knife forward, cut right along that bone where I can feel it but not cut it. And then I'm gonna, I'm, now I'm just opening it up. Okay, this is as far as I wanna go. If I go farther than that, I've made my next mistake. So I have it this far, you can see the rib bones are exposed, that's perfect. I'm gonna pull the meat off of the rib bones and leave them there, they will come out of the meat. So I grab underneath, see that thick quarter inch slice of belly meat, just right, nice and tender, and that's what we're gonna extract here. So I just slip my finger under there, I'm holding it like this in my hand, and I'm going to gingerly rock my finger, so rock my hand so that it pulls away. You can see the rib bones pulling out of the meat. Just do it gingerly. Now, and with my fingers, I'm also pulling you have to grab hard and pull away. So you can see that I preserved this meat. There's no bones here at all. It's completely deboned. And then obviously I just slice it off of the skin. You can see that I have preserved all of this belly meat. If, if uh, I did it the other way, all of that would be missing. This would just be your fillet from here. And this is actually a significant chunk of some of the tastiest meat in the fish. Well, there you go. I hope that's helpful to someone. Uh, it was taught to me by someone here in Louisiana. And so I thought I'd share that with the rest of you. 